Her name meaning ability is soft sounding. It hides the hard grit of spirit and graft of hands. From sowing souls to stirring souls, to walking the road less travelled, defiance in her stride a little bit to a rebel. This working class woman who left school at 13. A time when women weren't heard, only seen. It took the smashing of windows to shatter the status quo, baiting the Bulldog Prime Minister in her attempt to overthrow expectations, limitations, the system. Ideas unheard of by men. This marching machinist awakening the city, leading her sisters in strength. The Zimbabwean schoolgirl exchanging her weekends for helping people in need of a hand, bringing cookies and cakes into which she had baked solidarity, humanity and compassion, delivered and accepted by eager faces, swapping smiles with excited children. The teenager working part-time serving burgers, falling in love outside the box of her culture and caste, after four years of fearing rejection, finding courage to tell her parents, breaking down boundaries and borders, now nurturing her next generation. The student on the 4am train, the clatter on the tracks louder than the drone of meddling men, telling her she'll never finish, she'll have to start again. Isolated, though tiny kicks, reminds her she's not alone. The intern whose clothes were too Muslim to please, her French boss's secular sensitivities, liberté, égalité, fraternité, what does that even mean? Hijab back on as soon as she stepped back out on the street, determined not to be stripped of her identity. The mother surrounded by beeping machines, hand sanitizer and cups of tea, unaware of the world outside, just willing her baby to breathe. So I ask you mothers, you daughters, you sisters, you aunts, wasn't Alice right to stand up and speak? And haven't we, in our own ways since then, continued to say, we have a voice, we matter, we have strength.